thought she liked me the way I am, you know? All of a sudden, she's saying I should better myself. Roger. What, you don't think there's room for improvement? Yeah, but she wants me to take this social analysis class. You can be assertive. Try growing up in the South Bronx with seven brothers. You gotta be assertive just to eat. Hey, check it out. Hey, hey, my purse! That's the guy! This is the police. Stop and put your hands on your head. sitting in a doctor's waiting room with 12 pregnant women sitting in plastic chairs and everybody sizing each other up. Oh, at least I'm not as fat as she is. Well, what's an old woman like that doing getting pregnant? It's brutal. David, come on, we're gonna be late! Come on, honey, it can't be that bad. It is. They set up an appointment every 15 minutes and by 9 o'clock in the morning, they're already backed up an hour. David! I'm late. Go, I'll get him to school. You will? Make sure he eats. Mm-hmm. What's today, a holiday? I don't feel so good. I think I should stay home. What's wrong? My stomach hurts. And my head. I think I got a fever. Doesn't feel like 106. I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm not gonna throw up this minute. You know what I've always found when I'm feeling like you are? The best thing to do is get the blood circulating. Get up, get moving. Get up, get moving. But, Dad. No buts, David. What's the matter with you? You have a test you didn't study for? Yeah. Uh, I didn't finish the book. But if I stay home today. No way, kiddo. It was your responsibility to read that book. You didn't. Now you're going to have to face the music. Come on, I'll give you a ride. You don't have to. I insist. Go on, face the music. Hey, 
Hey, Jason. Hi, Mr. Scully. Did you bring the money? I couldn't get it. What's he doing? Next week it's double, all right? Hey, what do you got in your hand? What's it to you, huh? Give me that. Give it to me. You shaking this kid down? No, it's my money, all he right? take this from you? What is it now, Brad? He's extorting money. I'll see you at the principal's office after the bell. You got detention for a week. But I didn't do anything. You better be there, Brad, or else it's two weeks. Thank you for your help, Commissioner. I appreciate it. Sure thing. You okay? You sure? I wish your dad hadn't done that. Okay, you guys. Good luck on your test. What test? Never mind. Skate faster than you can drive? He's down a one way street, then he's gone. He's made three grabs in four days. And he knows what he's doing. He goes places he knows the squad car can't. Well, forget about the car. What are we supposed to do? Run after him? We have to be able to go exactly where he goes. So find me the fastest skater on the force. Set up time trials, you know, like in the Olympics. Of course. At the Olympics, there are people with actual physical skills. Our guys passed the academy fitness tests. I bet there aren't two of them who can skate 50 yards. You're on. The impound yard tomorrow afternoon. Ten bucks says we'll have a skating squad Wayne Gretzky would be proud of. Dreaming. Is he in there? See him. I gotta go. Go fast. Come with me. No. Please. Hey, Scally. Where's a police escort, huh? The old man ain't around to save your butt this time, is he, Dork? What do you want? Oh, you know what I want. I want the money. Come on, come on. Hey, and you ain't getting out of this free either, Scanlon. Leave me alone. Come on. Ugh, let him go. Brad, stop it. Leave him alone. Stop me. It's okay, Todd. My name's Sid Madison, and I want to ask you a few questions. Did you see anyone coming out of the bathroom? Take your time. What are we gonna do? There, we can't go back. The police will be there. Your father will be there. My father will know what to do. You can't tell him. I have to tell you him. You can't. He'll put me in jail. I was trying to help you. He, he was wailing on you.
Have you seen my son? No. Keep an eye out for him, will you? What do we got, Ricky? Uh, Sid found a 9 millimeter shell casing. Hey, David! Are you all right? Is Brad gonna be okay? He's on the way to the hospital. We'll know soon. Your mother's coming to pick you up. Jason, why don't you go with David until your father comes home? Okay. We're gonna find out who did this. And we're gonna put him away. Everything will be all right, okay? It happened between classes, right after third period. No one really knew it was a gunshot until one of the kids went into the bathroom and saw Brad there. I questioned him. Nothing. Nothing like this has ever happened before. This is not the kind of school that kids bring weapons to. Someone did. This is what we got from the lockers in this hallway. Hmm. A 22. Brad was shot with a 9 millimeter. Yeah, we uh, found that in Lori Gustafson's locker. Lori? Lori is one of our brightest students. Track this girl down, have a talk with her. You know the kid that Brad was shaking down this morning? Ron Hedrick. But he went home sick during second period. He couldn't have shot Brad. Anyone else Brad was hassling? How long a list do you want? Brad has caused trouble here since day one. I've warned him. I've given him detention. I even suspended him once. His father read me the riot act. I thought he was going to hit me. Brad and his friend, Russ Ellison, terrorize anyone younger than they are. Russ Ellison, uh, short kid, a little chunky. Living in Brad's shadow. We'll have a talk with Russ Ellison. Can you confirm that the victim was Brad Harris? We haven't been able to reach the parents, so I can't confirm anything. We had reports you turned up several more guns in your locker search. We're conducting an intensive investigation. Until we make an arrest, we'll take extra precautions to ensure the safety of every student and teacher. Does that mean you'll be sending your son to school tomorrow? I stand behind the Eastbridge school system. Excuse me. Is it true that teachers now fear for their safety? Of course not. This was an isolated incident. Sometime this century? You got a problem? That's not what I meant. You got a problem? That's not what I meant. You want a piece of me? Hey! Let me help hey! You out this car. Hold it! Hold it! You're not helping anything by getting in a fight, man. He's been parked in the way 15 minutes. You should arrest him. Calm down. Everyone's a little on edge right now. I'm just waiting for my son. Tell me his name, I'll help you to find him. Brad Harris. What? Rita? Rita? No. He's just... He wouldn't let me go in. He's all alone. I'm Dr. DiMartono. Brad suffered a massive hemorrhage, but he's now stable and the bleeding has stopped. He's still unconscious and is requiring support on the respirator. But he's gonna be okay, right? The bullet lacerated the spleen and lodged near his spine. There's marked edema around the spinal cord. We'll know within 24 to 48 hours whether he'll be permanently paralyzed. <sighs> paralyzed? Oh. One of you can go in now. Sorry. Go ahead. I truly am sorry, Mr. Harris. I have a son, too. Don't say you know how I feel, because you don't. No, I don't. Do you have any idea who might have shot Brad? If I did, I wouldn't be here. Don't make this worse. We'll take care of whoever's responsible. Did Brad tell you about any problems he was having with anyone at school? Hey, my son handles his problems. 
Your son has a reputation for getting advice. You saying he deserved this? Of course not. Oh, man, all my life, you guys have been coming down on my neck. We don't live in a fancy house in the hills, so we're scum to you. I'm trying to... You're trying to turn it around. My son didn't bring a gun to school. He is the victim here. But you'll make it like it's Brad's fault. He got shot, case closed, and you're off to your next fundraiser. Since then? No. I took it after Brian rush off my head in the toilet. Remember? I thought it was gonna drown. I thought if I had the gun with me, it was just for protection. Is your dad know you have it? No way. I don't think he's ever even shot it. Wish I never shot it. Hey. <laughs> Maybe they won't find out. Brad knows you did it. When he wakes up, he's gonna tell. What do you think they'll do to me? It was self-defense. You're only 12. They're not gonna try as an adult. Depends how badly Brad's hurt. You saw. It was all in blood. He wasn't moving. It was bad. If you turn yourself in, maybe they'll go easier on you. We should tell before he does. No. They'll lock me up. I'm just trying to help you, David. Hey, Tony. Thanks for looking after Jason for me. I've been in meetings all afternoon. No problem. Hell of a thing. Yeah, no kidding. That's why we moved to Eastbridge, get away from this. I mean, how much farther into the boonies do we have to go? Well, we're going to prosecute as far as we can, despite his age. They know. I'm going to enroll Jason in Taylor Hall. I had my secretary call this afternoon. Now, if he passes the test, they'll take a mid-semester. You should think about doing the same with David. If I take David out of public school, it'll seem like I'm giving up on the system I'm supposed to be protecting. I'm not giving up. I want my son to get an education. What are you two doing lurking in the doorway? Hi, Richard. Hi, Rachel. Hi, honey. Hi. Jason takes his test for Taylor Hall in a few days. Let me know if you want me to pull a string or two for David. But Dad, Taylor Hall is an all-boys school. I don't want to go there. It's the best school in the county. <laughs> but, but, Jason. But... Thanks again. Sure. Come on, Jason. Goodbye. I gotta go do some homework. Okay, I'll call you when supper's ready. It's beef stroganoff. Good move, hon. What? His favorite dinner. Makes things look normal. Tony, nothing is normal. I have been going crazy. It's a 
kids look like ghosts when I pick them up. But we don't have to add our fears to theirs. But look at Scanlon. He's panicking. Jason sees it. For God's sake, Tony, this is Eastbridge Junior High. It's not supposed to happen here. And I know how naive that sounds. We'll get through it. And we'll get David through it. Guys like Scanlon, they got a problem, they run. What's he gonna do when he finds out there's no place left to go? He wants his son to be safe. What's wrong with that? Nothing. But if all the decent people give up, who's gonna be left? Somebody's gotta take a stand. What are you talking about? You're gonna take a stand with our son's life? You wanna send him to private school? Yes. Yes, I do. If that's the only way for him to be safe. I told a reporter that I would send David back to school tomorrow. If I don't think it's safe enough for my own son, how am I gonna allow all those other kids to go? If you don't think it's safe enough, if there is any doubt in your mind, shut the school down. If it's only for a day or two, just until things calm down. Closing the school would be like, like what the Scanlons are doing, running away. Things will calm down if we keep that school open and nothing else happens. But how can you be sure that nothing else will happen? anything ever happened to David, you'd never forgive yourself. And neither would I. I'll close it down. I know what happened today he scared you. It scared me too. But do you have any idea who might have shot Brad? He's older than me. He's not in my class. I know, but Brad was kind of a tough kid. You ever see him fighting with anyone? Just about half the school. Yeah. You okay? I wish I could keep these kinds of things from you. Best I can do is make sure you know I'm here for you. We'll get through it together. to discuss this rationally. The problem of weapons in The school... problem is that this school has become a holding pen for cast-off kids whose parents don't give a damn. What's that supposed to mean? I get food stamps, I don't care about my kids as much as you do? I think you're overreacting. Our children are forced to come to this school with hoods from Morgan Heights. No wonder they're afraid. If you're calling my kids hoods just because of where we live. You've got the highest crime rate in the city. Now you're spreading it through the school system. I'm spreading it? Come on, come on! Look at us. We're judging each other on where we live and how much we earn. You're concerned for your children's safety. All of us are. But when your concern turns into fear, your children will feel it too. Thank you, FDR. What I'm saying is where the shooter is from, Morgan Heights or Cloverdale, isn't the issue. The issue is... What's that? Metal detectors approved by the school board at an emergency session last night. Kids see metal detectors, and they think there are guns all over the school. They think they have to bring guns. Two kids have already brought guns to school. Those detectors will stop that. They're only a deterrent. They're not foolproof. I am not sending my daughter back here until they're installed. 
If it'll make you feel better, okay. But don't think that those detectors are gonna solve all your problems here. People want simple solutions, even if they don't work. Anyway, uh, we talked to Lori Gustafson. That's the girl with the 22 in a locker. Yeah. Someone gave it to her after she was mugged outside school. She's never used it. We tried to talk to Russ Ellison. That's Brad Harris's friend. But he hasn't been home. Keep trying. I'm on my way back to the station. Gretzky squad. That's right. Hey, Carmella, you be the purse snatcher. See if I can catch you. He couldn't catch a cold. Okay, Gordy. Hey, how do you stop these things? <laughs> That's one way. Do you think Gordy's mother walked under a ladder right before he was born? He's just had some bad breaks lately. He's got low self-esteem. Deservedly so. This purse snatcher is good, boss. You got another idea we can try? I haven't given up on this one yet. Well, she's the only one who can skate. She's got to be the decoy. Not necessarily. We got cops, we got metal detectors, we got Stan Kelly undercover in the school shop. Believe me, it's safer than it was before. Oh, I'll get it. Miss Galley. Honey, everything's gonna be fine. Great. Great, I'm on my way. That was Sid, she talked to the hospital. Brad Harris just woke up, he'll tell us who shot him. Dad, can I talk to you? Not now, kiddo. I'll see you later. David, what's wrong? I think I'm gonna be sick. David. I don't know who did it. You don't know his name? No. But you can give us a description. He was standing right in front of you. The report says he was shot from the front. That's what it said. Brad, I promise you, whoever did this will be punished. But I need your help. Getting shot was a traumatic event, Tony. It's possible he's blocked out the details. I think he knows something, but he won't tell me. Maybe if you talk to him, he might tell his father what he won't tell us. If he does, we'll have the kid in the station in a half an hour. Okay.
You did good, kid. Your old man's gonna take care of it. He doesn't remember. All right. Thanks for trying. What do I do next, Mr. Kelly? Uh, um, sand it. I mean, sanding it for a week. Well, sand it some more. Allison, hey, Allison! You're late. Russ Ellison, isn't that Brad Harris's friend? Yeah. Both of them are little thugs. Hey, Elson. Where's your shadow? Back off. Back off, man. You better watch your back, Ellison. Everybody in the school hates your guts. Leave me alone. Who's gonna meet me? Brad. Get down! Can you tell me why you brought the gun to school? It's a tough time for you right now. Best friend in the hospital. Did those other boys threaten you? Do you think they may have been the ones who hurt Brad? How'd you get the gun past the metal detector? You're the cop. You figure it out. You brought a gun to school and you were about to use it. That's a felony with intent. I'm offering you a chance to help us and your buddy, Brad. But you're spitting it back in my face. You're banging on the prison doors. You want to be let in? I'm going to help you. Now. You want to tell me about that gun? Or not? I got it from the guy in the city. 50 bucks. For what? Revenge? No. I don't know who did it. Then for what? He shot Brad. I could be next. Hey, man. I told Brad not to mess with your son. What? He's the one who had it in for David, not me. David Scally? What do you mean, Brad had it in for David? He comes over, grabs Brad, winds up getting him a week of detention. Brad was ready to take David apart. But he didn't, that I saw. Brad said he'd get him later, and then he was shot. I asked David if he knew any of the kids Brad picked on. And he lied to me. He never lied to me before that I know of. That I know of. Maybe you should let me handle this. Handle what? David's a suspect. You can't be expected. David was not involved in this. You never thought he'd lie to you. Boss, Papadakis is calling from the hospital. Line two. Scally, I thought you'd want to know. After you left, Brad's folks had a big blowout. About what? I don't know, a lot of yelling. He says, I'm doing it, he cusses her out, and then he takes off. But here's the weird thing. On the way out, he stops at the phone book and tore out a page. What page? I got it right here. I know my son. It's a page out of the essence. Sawyer through Scarpelli. 
Thanks, John. Put an APB out on William Harris. Male, Caucasian, mid-30s, dark hair, solid build, maybe armed. And send the closest patrol unit to my house. He's going after the kid who shot his son and he thinks it's David. Locked up, nobody's home. My wife's car's not here. She's usually home from school by now. David! Everything there? Yes. Not even loaded. I keep the ammunition separate. Hasn't been fired recently. I know. I told you, David didn't do it. Then why'd you check? David! I took David to the doctor. Seems he was throwing up. <laughs> Who's that? It's his friend Jason's. Jason Scanlon. Their name is on the same page of the phone book as ours. A nine millimeter. Let's go. Kid shot my son. He may never walk again because of what your kid did. Hold it! Drop the gun! before he got me. You know, he actually believes that Jason shot his son. <sighs> he did. Well, that's impossible. I know my son. He would never... Jason was desperate. He was so afraid to go to school that... No. No, he wasn't. He was so afraid to go to school, he thought he had to bring this gun so he could get Brad before Brad got him. <sighs> Why didn't he come to me? Why didn't he tell me? I don't know.
under arrest. Great move, Jeff. I think you'll no need to be more assertive. I don't know what to say to him. Here we were going crazy looking for the shooter. The whole town's going nuts. Richard Scanlon could have been killed. And David knew all along. I don't even know what kind of punishment I should give him. He's been punished already. He saw that boy get shot. And he had to make a decision that no 12-year-old should ever have to make. He's been throwing up over it for three days. Why didn't he just tell me? Well, we taught him that his word, his promise, is the most important thing he has. And we also taught him that he could come to us with anything. Well, this time, those two values were in conflict, and he didn't know which one to choose. Well, he made the wrong choice. He knows that now. What he needs to know is that you forgive him. What happened to Jason? Is he going to jail? That's for a judge to decide. You know, when I was 10, I took some money from my mom's purse. My father found out about it. But when he asked me if I took it, I said no. He gave me a beating. When it was over, he cried. It was the only time I ever saw my father cry. He was angry about the money, but he cried because I lied to him. And that's kind of the way I'm feeling right now. I tried to tell you, but she said not now. You should have told me the first time I asked you. Jason's my best friend. He shot Brad to protect me. I couldn't rat on him. I promised I wouldn't tell. I know how important a promise to a friend is. But one of the things you learn as you grow up is when it's best not to keep a promise. It's hard to learn. I don't always know. Growing up doesn't end when you're 18 or 21 or 30. But you should have come to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For many of our nation's school children, violence and the fear of violence are facts of life. For more information on how to make your school a safe learning environment, write to the National School Safety Center, care of Pepperdine University, Malibu, California, 90263.